Hi there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. I've had a lot of messages from people asking if I'm at NAM. All I can say is I am what I am and I am not at NAM. Certainly not this year anyway. In fact, I haven't been there since 2009, was it? Or 2010. So uh, it's about nine years since I've been. Um, maybe I will go next year. Um, that will be a break of 10 years. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll go next year. Let's see what happens. Anyway, I'm digressing as per usual. Let's get on with this particular picking pattern. Hope you enjoyed the video at the start of this video. And uh, that is going to be the subject of today's little lesson. So I'm going to take you through it as always. Um, so let's get to it. Um, we start in the key of G minor here. We're just going to follow a G minor pentatonic and it's groups of four. So nothing particularly outlandish here. Um, so we're going to start here, fret 10 at the bottom E string. And we're going to do a group, start with a group of four. Okay, so we're following uh, pentatonic position number four, so G minor position number four, but um, because it's a mixture of two and three notes per string, we're going to be connecting positions four and five together on specific strings. So we're going to start here with this pattern, it's just two notes per string for the first grouping of four, and picking wise I'm going up, down, down, up, okay. Then the, I'm continuing on by going, this is where we get the three note per string. Okay, that's the, the basic shape, and we're just going to move that up to the uh, fifth and fourth strings now. So you can see where we're going. It's a group of four with two notes per string, and we get the next pattern. It's one, two, three on the next string. So again, the same here, and again, following patterns four and five of the G minor pentatonic scale. Okay, same again on the next two strings. Watch out for this bit here, uh, because we've got an index finger jump here. It's only one fret, but uh, up, up to speed, you're gonna have to be particularly careful. So. And here, once we've done this, we're gonna shift positions. And we're just doing a, descending um, G minor scale here. But then we shift up into position 15. So the index finger is at fret 15 of the B. And then we begin our picking pattern. Okay, let me do that once more. As always, you can pick this in whichever way you like. Um, so starting from here, shift, okay, then we're going to repeat what we've just played, okay, see what I did there, it's the same thing, an octave lower, oops, bollocks. Okay, so we find ourselves here at fret 10 of the bottom E string. Okay, then we're going to do the same pattern, but we're going to move up to position 4. What position is that? I have no idea. Um, um, so we're going to start here at fret 11 ascend through the scale. And we're going to come back on ourselves on for the fifth string. And that's where we, we're going to stop that picking pattern. So let me play the picking pattern. In fact, let me play the, the whole thing nice and slowly. Got to there, then we're going to come back on ourselves. Okay, now we're on the, um, 
this is where we play a do um, dominant seventh de descending arpeggio. So this becomes, this note becomes the third degree of our dominant arpeggio. And we're just going to descend. Uh, something along those lines. That's it, something like that. So here's our dominant seventh arpeggio. So it's just an F dominant seven. And we're going to descend through it. And we're going to slide here up to fret 13. So. And then we get this allow us to move back to A, well we weren't in A in the first place, but it allows us to move to A, okay? Now play these two chords, very kind of Satriani-esque. Okay, so here I'm just playing the 12th fret of the D and G, and they move in contrary motion to each other. Okay, so 12th fret of the D is, moves down to fret 11, 12 the G moves up to fret 13. Okay, that's the whole pattern in its entirety. So as always, make sure you take it nice and slow, practice on specific problem parts, uh, slow it right down, make sure you're controlling exactly what you're doing. Uh, I've been really working on uh, my picking technique of late and uh, it's really, really helped me. Like the last video I talked about, um, one of the previous videos I talked about uh, bending this joint here on the index finger. I'm still doing that and it really is helping my technique no end. Uh, but like I said in the previous video, I'm not going to use it exclusively. Um, I'm going to use it as and when I feel like doing it. And like I said before, it's a great mental cue uh, for relaxation. So it's really, really helping my, my picking technique right now. Anyway, I'm babbling on. That's it. Here endeth the lesson. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I've got more stuff coming your way real soon. Uh, just a heads up, there's only four days left for the 50% off sale on my website. So link is in description box below. Go and grab some lessons at 50% off while they're available. Also, I'm taking Skype lessons as well. So link is in description box below. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Cheers.